Kakadosh Bokatov. We're continuing with now Siman Reshain Vav Siv Dalet to do with Amida Legoi. And now we're going to mention a very important general rule which actually will become very applicable. Maran says, Im yesh ner bebet Israel, uba goy vidlik ner acher. Imagine you already have a candle in your house. Remember here, Maran was always talking about candles. They didn't have the electricity. They didn't have the light bulbs or the light that we have nowadays. And what happens is, is that all of a sudden a goy comes and he adds an additional light. So you already have one which is already lit and he adds an additional light. So you're allowed to use the light of the second light as long as the first light is still on. He says, but however though, after the first light turns off, now you're not allowed to come and you're not allowed to use the light. The same halakha would apply if it's going to be that he's going to place uh, oil, right? In a nera dulak, you're allowed to use it until sheikhle Hashem that was already there, and then it would continue going. So from here, we learn a lot of, uh, a lot of different halakhot. One of them is called additional benefit. Additional benefit means we said that there's two halakhot in amira legoi. One halakha is amira. You're not allowed to tell a goi to do a malakha. Another, another isur is hana'a, which means even if I didn't tell the goi anything, I'm not allowed to benefit from a goi's action on Shabbat. Even if I didn't say anything, he came on on his own, or it was hinted to him, or whatever, the, I did not say a word. The fact that I'm not allowed to benefit from the goi's action is also a sur. Now what happens is here all of a sudden, I'm allowed to benefit. Why? It's called additional benefit. And anything which is additional benefit, you're allowed to benefit on the Shabbat. So there's a few examples. One of them is like what we said here. Let's say we have only parts of the lights which are on. Or the lights are off, but it's daytime, right? And now we are going to hint to a goy. Because remember, hinting to the goy, not as a command, is not considered telling the goy to do something. Ah, you have the problem of benefiting, but this is additional benefit. So if it's sunlight outside, it's sunny outside, and light is coming inside, and the lights are off, and all of a sudden the goy comes and he turns on the light, or... Right? I hint to him to turn on the light, and he turns on the light. Mitzada telling the goy, there was no problem of telling the goy anything. We didn't say anything. He did it on his own accord, or it was hinted to him. Now also Mitzada benefiting, anything which is additional benefit is permitted. So therefore, what happens is that now I'm allowed to use the light, because we could use the light, which is outside. Or for example, it happens that if we have fewer lights, the same halakha would apply, which means as long as we have enough light, that we could have done something, even if it was going to be in pressing need, but we could have read, or we could have, now the fact that there's additional light, there's no problem whatsoever for us to benefit from it. The same halakha, by the way, this is talking about even in your own homes. We're not talking about here because it's a Beta Knesset. The Beta Knesset has special rules because a Beta Knesset, right, is something which is a bimkom mitzvah de rabim, right? The bimkom mitzvah de rabim, right, is actually very, very important, right? Which means that because it's a mitzvah of the, of the public, that they're in a Beta Knesset, it's a fixed Beta Knesset, so therefore there's no problem whatsoever. It could be even telling a goy to do a doraita. That's a shvud bimkom mitzvah that we spoke about in the past. Another time this is going to be very applicable is to do with the AC, the air conditioning. Let's say the air conditioning is on, but it's not as strong. But we could still be here saying, but uh, we're sweating a little bit. So here we're allowed to hint to the goy, or if the goy comes on his own accord, and then what he's going to do is he's going to turn it higher, right? In order to make it colder in the room, there's no problem. Why? Because that's considered additional benefit. Anything which is considered additional benefit is permitted on Shabbat. That there's no problem of hana'a, benefiting from a goy on Shabbat, as long as it's always going to be considered additional benefit.